Those power lines. Are they really songs? They're you songs. You know, there's work behind the scenes, though, to quiet those birds down. KBS Jay Wallace joins us live downtown to explain what's happening this morning. Jay, are you annoyed yet? Yeah, well, there's a, currently a group of people walking the streets of downtown Austin right now. You can actually see a couple of them behind me in these, this yellow and orange vest. They were here at 6th and Congress. They have wood blocks in their hands, a high-powered laser as well, and the purpose, well, just a little friendly motivation. You've seen them, you've heard them. About as smart as a two-year-old child at times. Maybe even defended yourself against them. People could get attacked on the streets if they're near any nest or babies or things like that. The grackle, these iridescent irritators, have plagued Austin for quite some time. In 2008, downtown Austin Alliance recognized that there was a serious problem in the public improvement district, and that was actually uh, birds. These birds were migrating right into and through downtown, plastering the sidewalks with their droppings along the way. It's not what we want the downtown perception to be. So enter the bird abaters. During times like this, they're kind of like firemen. We certainly have hot spots. We're just moving the birds out of the downtown area. This Texas Bird Services team does their work before the sun has even come up. The success of the program is that you don't know anyone's actually done this program. Starting with their slap sticks. The reason we clap the sticks is because it wakes up the birds, the loud noise opens up their eyes. And then once awake, the birds get a little nudge. Cats and dogs want to chase the laser, birds run from it. And while many of these workers are bird enthusiasts, they are also thoroughly trained. I train all my technicians myself. Spraying these trees with their lights to not harm the birds. Anything that could cause harm to a human, it won't cause harm to the bird as well. So when you head out to work today, whether driving on the road or walking along the sidewalk, know that some unsung heroes woke up before you did to make your morning a little less noisy and their morning a little more interesting. To be walking around, chasing birds, people watching, I thought it would be great. So all these bird abaters, they're gonna work for about an hour and a half this morning. Then they'll actually come back tonight, right before the sun goes down, to see where the birds are nesting. So then the next morning, they know where to start their work. Live in Austin, Jay Wallace, KV News. I love it. We Bird have to thank bigger. those folks, right? Yeah, absolutely. So they can like, leave a mess. Like you were just, Be careful there. <laughs> just trying to think of something as loud as those <laughs> yeah. two wooden blocks. Yeah, they were slapping Can they contact us things. for a take this job, though? <laughs> I want to see you bottom out there. That would be actually really fun. I would be like, hey, hey. Do you think that would get them? I think you might, yeah. You could talk them right out of those trees. I think my laugh would annoy them. They'd be like, listen, lady, we're out of here. We've had enough. Stop talking. We're You're going. annoying. We're going south.